thought I would pick a few of these green tomatoes today. They're not really big this year. Couldn't have nothing to do with the extreme heat and drought we had for the last couple of weeks. But I'll pick a few. Oh, I got a couple that are starting to turn red down there. Pick a few of these green ones in case we decide to fry some of them and give these others a chance to get more nutrition from the plant. Take one off of that one. This one ain't exactly loaded with big ones. It might be a later producing plant because got a lot of little ones coming on. This is definitely a different kind here. Growing dinky little tomatoes this year. Maybe I shouldn't have been so stingy with the fertilizer. Oh well, can't always be giant tomatoes. Big enough to fry. Look at them two nice beans. About as wide as the palm of my hand. Oh, there's one a good five inches. Not ripe yet, but it's close enough that I'm going to call it my first bright one. I've had a lot of rain here lately. And the bugs are not my favorite character this year. So my first harvest of tomatoes is just green ones. Three all clumped up together. Let's take the bottom one off. A little bit on the dinky side. We harvested one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine green tomatoes. Sunshine right now, but we've had nothing but rain all night and all day. The rain has let up. They said it would be dry tomorrow. And I'm hoping my grass will be dry enough by then to cut grass tomorrow. Because Thursday and Friday is supposed to rain again. I've been out here tying up my zinnias. And I'll explain. Last year, windstorm come up through here. And I just had one clump of zinnias right here. And just blew them over. And they were so top heavy from all these flowers. They just bent them right over to the ground. This year I put a trellis in amongst those there. And my way of thinking is, if a good wind blows against them, the trellis will catch this half of them. And this half will block the wind from blowing those over. Vice versa, if the wind comes from that way, it would work just the opposite. And it might not help at all, it might just blow right over. But I got a pretty stiff trellis stuck up there in the middle. So today I took two golf clubs, put on this side of these clump of zinnias and two golf clubs put over there. I just grinded off the head of the club, stuck them in the ground and run a piece of string loosely around here. So if the wind blows, hopefully that string will catch them from blowing completely over. Give them a chance to survive a windstorm. Same way over here with these. And I moved the trellis and stuck it into these zinnias here. It's probably not stuck in the ground far enough, but it's better than nothing. I was took the trellis off these roses here. They scratched the tar out of me, but I'm gonna be taking that rose bush down. Some of you might tell me just prune it. And I could do that too, but I don't see what that's gonna solve the blight problem. 
Anyway, tomorrow is going to be grass cutting day. Looks like the hydrangea is pretty well played out with all this rain. They're starting to fade, but they really got top heavy this year. In another month or so, we'll pull that one up that I'm trying to root and see if it took. Thank you. 